Good morning or good evening or good afternoon. Welcome back and thank you for joining me today. Um, it is a Tuesday the 25th and I'm going to be doing a diptych for you guys today. I really really liked the way the color split um, Dutch pour was done in the last video and I got some great feedback so I'm going to be doing another color split and probably going to be doing a lot of these. Um, so I did all the videos with like the um, different color base Dutch pours, you know, red, green, orange, all of those. Now I think it's time to do kind of the same thing, but with color split ideas. So I'll be doing some of those and in between, of course, trying to get commission pieces done and trying to do construction and it's crazy. I heard, I just found out the other day that on Saturday we have the HVAC guy coming and he's gonna be tearing a hole in the ceiling in the basement um, because he needs to cap off the gas pipes and the lines and the AC line and all that. Um, so I'm really, I'm gonna tarp off the wall here um, and hope and pray that it doesn't affect me and my painting and my videos and all that. Um, there's a lot going on guys, a lot going on. So super, super busy trying to get my videos out, trying to get commissions out. And speaking of commissions and speaking of, you know, being busy, you're probably wondering what these are. So I have been asked and I'm so, so excited and let me grateful. Let me do this before I knock anything over. So these are paddles and I want to talk to you a little bit about them. Um, it's super important for us here. And I, I wanted to tell you a little bit about this and what I'm going to be doing um, to both of these. I had a lovely lady um, contact me by the name of Allison. And she is the co-founder and owner of Jordana's Rainbows. So these paddles, um, this is more for the Canadians. Um, if you've heard of Camp Uchigea, um, I wanted to read this because there's no way I can say all this and remember it. Um, so Camp Uchigea, this is a this is an article from the National Post. Um, Camp Uchigea Paddle Projects, so the projects the, are the paddles. Um, they're, they auction these off um, and they're designed by artists, celebrities, singers, you name it, any like Canadian artists. Are they design these and then they auction them off. So I just want to read this because I mumble too much. So Camp Uchigea Paddle Project auctions celebrity designed oars to raise money for children with cancer. So designed to raise awareness and funds, the Camp Uchigea Paddle Project auctions off one of a kind paddles designed by Canadian artists, athletes and celebrities. Each year, Camp Uchigea makes it their mission to provide unique experiences for 1,200 children living with cancer through year-round camp programs. In collaboration with hospitals across the province, the organization offers young campers on-site chemo treatments and blood transfusion services. Designed to raise awareness and funds, the Camp Uchigea's Paddle Project auctions off one-of-a-kind paddles designed by Canadian artists, athletes, and celebrities. The paddles have been considered an iconic symbol of Canadian culture and a tool campers have been using since Uchigea's inception, says Alison Howell Quinton, the camp's chief development officer. The paddles are auctioned at a biennial gala called Imagine the Magic, which is attended by 800 of Toronto's most prominent people. So Camp Uchigea has collected about 70 paddles this year, including ones designed by Jose Batista. He's the athlete for the Blue Jays, or was, um, Tragically Hip, Chris Hadfield, and others. So this is huge. Um, this is a big deal. Um, and I was asked by Allison to create um, a design on these two paddles, which are gonna be auctioned off at the gala. Um, so I'm on a tight deadline, so everything's kind of been put on hold. And these are my next project because these need to be done 
and finished and given back to Allison within the next two weeks. So um, I'm super humbled. I am super excited. This is, um, I'm very honored to have been given the chance to do this for Allison. And if you want to know more about Allison's um, foundation for her daughter, Jordana, Jordana um, unfortunately passed in 2016. She was only, see, I'm getting upset. She was only 10 and it makes me sad because my son is 10 and you know, it, I can't imagine losing a child. So if you want to know more about Jordana and her foundation, and Jordana's Rainbows. Um, I will put the um, website in the description below. And there's also an Instagram page that you can follow as well. Okay. So I'm going to be working on that and I'm going to show you guys the results when I get them done. And I can't wait to see what the other paddles look like and who the paddles were made by and I can't wait to see all of that. So um, moving along, before I really become mush, um, I have the uh, 20 by 20 inch, let me see if I can grab it over here, the yellow um, piece I did for my client is now um, resined and completed. I will try and get it outside. It's a, it's a cloudy day a little bit today. But I'll try and get it outside and show it to you guys in the sunlight on the front deck because there's no more back deck. Um, and then the green, the um, phthalo green diptych has also been resin and it is gorgeous. So uh, I will try my best to get those outside in the sunlight for you guys so you guys can see what they look like. My triptych is dry. Yay! Um, so this is going to get um, some crystal resin on it and um, it has sold. So thank you to the lucky or thank you. I'm lucky um, that it was purchased and thank you so much to the buyer um, for purchasing it. So that will get um, the coat of crystal resin and um, stay tuned within the next uh, couple of days. I will have a promo code for crystal resin for you guys who are interested in purchasing crystal resin and getting a little bit of a discount, stay tuned for that. I will be getting a promo code any day now and I will let you guys know what that is. And they are shipping to the US, so very exciting. I get a lot of people asking me if um, they ship to Europe. I don't quite know. You're gonna have to contact them directly um, and then you can figure that out with them. Um, I'm sure shipping won't be cheap to Europe, but you can always contact the company and inquire. All right, so I think that's it for now. We're going to get started on the pour and I'll show you guys what I'm up to and the colors that I'm going to be using for today's diptych. So be right back. <music> have here is a uh, 12 by 16 inch canvases and I've already gone ahead and put down my paints so the um, blue color here is Amsterdam's greenish blue okay 
Um, one of my absolutely favorite colors. Um, and so I didn't do this color as a base in a Dutch pour, so I figured I would do it in the um, color split. So I've gone ahead and done that. I used my white, which is Artist Loft Flow Acrylic White, mixed with Floetrol and water. And you wanna know the um, ratios for how I mix my paints in my squeeze bottles and my white paints as well. Check out video number 63. I will link it up at the top. Just click on that white banner that pops up at the top there. And that will give you my ratios. So I'm just gonna pop the bubbles real quick. It is very, very, very important to torch these bubbles. If you do not, these bubbles will surface as your painting is drying and it will leave little pinhole um, bubbles, dry bubbles in your painting and you don't want that. Don't forget to make sure your canvas is level. I cannot stress enough how important it is to make sure your canvas is level. All right, so the colors I'm using today are actually um, colors that I'm gonna be using on those paddles. Um, so I wanted to give them a go on here and make sure that they uh, work out and look really good together. So we have Metallic Purple by Artist Loft, 24 Karat Gold by Deco Art. Then we have Phthalo Blue by Academy. I'm shaking the camera. Then I have Iridescent Green Yellow by Pebeo Studio Acrylics. Then I have Deep Magenta by Artist Loft. And finally, Iridescent Blue Green by Pebeo Studio Acrylics. So as you can see, it's kind of like a rainbow theme. You know, I didn't want to put orange in there because orange can get things really muddy. So I didn't want to put orange, but I'm trying to do as many colors as I can because I wanted to do a rainbow on those patterns, um, on those paddles, sorry, um, for the Dutch pour. So I hope it really works out. It's going to be tough though, because those paddles aren't exactly leveled. So I'm going to have my work cut out for me. So we will uh, see how those paddles turn out. But in the meantime, let's see how these colors turn out. And uh, I hope this turns out okay, because I don't want to have to redo it. It's hard to scrape a canvas when you don't have enough of the base paint mixed up. You have to do more of it. I'm trying not to put too much gold because it does tend to overtake in the pores when I blow it out. All right, next we have Phthalo Blue, that looks so pretty against the greenish blue background, wow. Guys, I'm so excited excited to do these paddles, like this stuff, this is huge, this is a very, very big deal, and uh, it'll be awesome to get my name out there too, which is so exciting. So I'm very humbled and grateful to Allison for uh, giving me this huge opportunity. But like I said, we're on a time crunch, so <laughs> I've gotta get working super fast and I gotta do it all in between construction. Yesterday she came over to drop off the paddles and unbeknownst to us, the concrete guy showed up to pour concrete in the footings. So here they are out in the backyard doing concrete. They just show up when they can, right? There's no set schedule. They just come when they're available. So they showed up. You never know with construction what's gonna happen, right? All right, the beautiful colors are down. Let's torch these bubbles. And uh, blow this out. I'm very excited to see what happens. And I'm going to put my paper towel in my pocket of my other apron. All right, now, how do we blow this out? Let's start down here.
little low on paint here. Didn't move as much as I wanted it. That's the longest I've ever had the blow dryer running. But it's so pretty. It's so colorful. Get that speck out of there. So over, where was it? Here, I had a hard time blowing it because there wasn't enough base paint. So a lot of people wonder and say, oh, well, my paints aren't moving. So there's two things about that. Either your paint isn't fluid enough or um, you didn't add enough base paint to help it flow. So because I don't flood my colors anymore, you know how um, Arinska does her puddles or her lines, but then still floods around. I haven't done that since December. I no longer do that. I prefer this way. But the problem is you gotta make sure you have enough paint on the base in order to make the colors move. So over here, I didn't have enough. However, the way the colors mixed is amazing. I love it. Oh, this is so pretty. Well, I definitely know the colors work together well, so I'm loving that. Now I want to see if I can get some of this to match. I'm gonna see if I can come over here. Let me put the lid on this, move the torch and see. Matchy, matchy. Uh, I'm not gonna touch anything here or here. Uh, I don't think I'm touching anything. I love the green. This green by Pebeo um, is such a beautiful color. And when I bring it down for a close up, you're gonna see these bursts of lime green. It is gorgeous. You know what? I'm not touching anything. I like it just the way it is. So I'm going to bring you guys down for a close up and show you guys up close how pretty these colors really are. Be right back. All right guys, so here we are with the studio lights on, but look how beautiful these colors are. I'm so excited about this and I'm really loving the green. The lime green just makes it pop. So this, as I mentioned, is a diptych of 12 by 16 inches. If you are interested in this piece, um, you can email me at canalaseraco at gmail.com and uh, claim it before somebody else does. So there you have it with the studio lights on. Let me turn the lights off and we'll check out that shimmer. Alrighty, lights are off and shimmer is on <laughs> look at that it's so pretty i love the greenish blue by amsterdam it's such a pretty color but then again i love all blues but this one in particular is super pretty so there you have it guys uh let me know what you guys think in the comments below please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel don't forget um, to head on over to my son Lucas's channel, check out his train videos, and don't forget uh, Juno and Echo as well. I would love it if you guys headed on over and subscribe to their channels. It would be greatly appreciated. Um, in my last video, I showed you guys a clip of me on a horse. Um, that was a clip from last summer. I do not have time for horseback riding. Um, I was taking lessons back in the day, um, no more, because I just don't have the time for it. I wish I was, but I don't. Um, but I'd like to show you guys some clips here and there of some random things. So you never know what's going to be at the end of a video. There might be something, there might not be. You never know. So stick around to the end to find out. So anywho, if you're interested in this piece, you can email me and uh, let me know if you'd like it. Until next time, guys, thank you so much for watching. 
Have a good day. Have a good night. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care. Bye.